my name is Sarah Stewart. I currently teach in Limavady Grammar School and this is my eighth year there. Um, before that I actually studied here in Stranmillis University College uh, for four years, B.Ed in post-primary biology and religious studies. Um, and yeah, I even worked here at the college for a year as the student president. So I chose to, to study the Masters in Pastoral Care primarily because I was interested in that. I always knew when I wanted to become a teacher that it wasn't just about academically enhancing the lives of children, it was so much more. And I loved extracurricular activities, I loved getting alongside young people and seeing them develop. So it was a personal interest and within my fourth year in Stranmillis I had the opportunity to do a pastoral care module with Dr Noel Purdy. And again that enhanced and reaffirmed my interest. I went on to do my final year dissertation in uh, the area of bullying and anti-bullying in schools and whenever I then found out about the Masters it was sort of an, a natural next step. Um, I talked with Dr Purdy about it and realised that long term it had the, the potential to influence my career pathway and what I would end up doing in schools if I had that extra knowledge. So it was an easy decision. I started the Masters straight after I finished my presidential year here and it was also my first year of teaching full time so some people thought that was a little crazy but I'm very glad that I did it now. I began the Masters in the autumn of 2010 and it was a three year part time course so I completed my dissertation and submitted the September of 2013 and then graduated that Christmas in December. For me there were several benefits of the course. The first being just knowledge and information, so finding out about different aspects to pastoral care, whether that was um, helping children suffering from maybe mental health issues, suicide, self-harm, bullying, bereavement, um, a huge number of organisations as well that were available to help schools and sort of gain that inside knowledge that as a beginning teacher I didn't have. So as I heard in school about MAST and CAMS, suddenly it meant something more and I could see the value of that work that was going on. So that was one element. The other aspect was the shared practice. There were a lot of people on the course coming from different backgrounds, whether that was primary school teaching, post-primary, um, youth services, and their different knowledge and experience meant that they were bringing practical examples to the table that not everybody had, had experienced themselves, so we were learning from each other. And um, even the age differential, people who had been teaching for maybe 20 years had so much more to offer in terms of their experience. So it was very much being able to share knowledge and also learn new information, and I really enjoyed that about the course. In terms of my own career, straight after the Masters, I would say the most immediate benefit was to my classroom practice, to the way that I was dealing with pastoral issues in my own form class or pupils that I came into contact with. And from that, I started to see opportunities within school and I was able to apply for a careers post, which was um, head of careers, key stage three and four. And seeing the opportunity there to enhance pupils' decision-making skills and give them a sense of enthusiasm about their future. A lot of the, the issues we deal with with mental health, for example, the children are quite often um, uninterested, they don't feel a sense of purpose, have a sense of direction. So with careers, we were able to give them a little bit of that, you know, start them thinking about their future, having goals and aims and targets, and, and also just getting them to see what was out there in the world. It was a, a great opportunity. Uh, and I was able to get that role, I think, partly because of my masters. It definitely set me apart from other candidates that applied for that internal post. And it showed a degree of dedication in my profession that I was willing to do that part time and really, uh, yeah, go above and beyond. If you were an undergraduate here in Stranmillis and you were considering the master's pathway, I would definitely say I benefited from doing it so close to my undergraduate. I had one year between graduating from the college and then taking on the masters. I think in terms of my academic level, I was still writing at the same level. I understood what was required of me in terms of assignments and, um, and how to work with my lecturers and get the most from it. So I'm glad that I did it that early on. I also benefited so much as a beginning teacher from being taught about pastoral issues while I was experiencing them for the first time. And I think as we move through school, we gain more responsibility. And as we get older, our lives change and we have more personal responsibilities at home. 
and the fact that I was doing it when I was still relatively free and able to commit time to it was definitely a good thing. If you were considering the master's programme and you've been out of college for a while, I would not let that put you off. I mentioned before we had a range of ages and stages on our course. All of us who completed the course passed and I think that's down to the support of the college. There is an awareness that you could be coming back to this programme maybe 10, 15, 20 years out of your initial degree and they're there to support you. So if you have issues with assignments, if you're unsure of structure, they're willing to work with you and there's an understanding that you may need more support. So I feel that there was so much to be gained from having a wealth of people on the course with different ranges of experience and, and yeah, don't let it put you off, it's a, it's a great opportunity.